Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to see if I can hear the volume on my voice, man. Y'all gotta turn with me. This is my first time ever flying on live like this. Yeah. Yeah, so we live, you know what I'm saying? Y'all live with Captain Reno. As you can see, I'm over here making A's in flight school. And uh, that's pretty much all I plan on doing. See my progress. Doing pretty good on my camera controls and my turning and my pitching up and down. Gently pushing and pulling on the yoke to pitch the plane up and down. Bank your plane into a turn toward toward the city of Sedona. I did that pretty well. Uh, they say I didn't do too well with my pitching up and down, so that's what I need to work on in flight school. I looked around to find the Sedona airport and then turned toward it, and I am moving on into my next lesson. Let me see. What is, which one I should go to? That's my law book. Nah, I don't want to continue that. I want to go back to the training menu. See, so this is what it look like when you, you know, getting ready to, to fly. Just got to go through the classes. So next I got to do the attitude pitch, learn how to use the elevators. Okay, okay, okay. There are three pitch altitude attitudes controlled by the elevator. And in this lesson, you will learn to climb, cruise, and descend. In the image to the right, the dashed lines represent where you will see the horizon in your windshield during climb or descent. You will also discover the relationship between pitch and speed. Pitching up will cause the speed to decrease while pitching down makes speed increase. That makes sense because it's hard to get air. I felt that when I was flying on my other flight. Y'all couldn't hear me talking, but I felt that when I was flying. I was like, oh, but going down see, like the end of the world. Like, time you start going down. All right, anyway. So, here we go. Descent attitude is... I completely even missed the diagram. There are three pitch attitudes controlled by the elevator. And in this lesson, you will learn to climb, cruise, and descend. So, my cruise attitude is, should be at the horizon. Let me see. It said, it said in the image to the right I've been over here smoking So you know I'm smoking and flying right now I gotta work on that But anyway don't tell anybody In the image to the right The dash lines represent where you will see the horizon In your windshield during climb or descent Okay so I need to work on this cruise situation That's what I'm thinking If I'm gonna be flying by and pulling up on people Let's get into it Let's get into it Here we go the attitude is the aircraft nose position. Man, could you control the plane, put your gear, got it, man. Notice I remember the horizon position. I'm trying to know that y'all can move kind of fast now. <laughs> move kind of fast, consider we up in the air, bro. Anyway, look at me over there chilling. Cessna. Sedona, Arizona at 4.40 p.m. Where are you? King Reno is in Arizona right now. Oh, my God, it is beautiful. It's a nice day to fly. Textron. Aviation Cessna 152 Sedona, Arizona Time 4.40 p.m. Wind 241.82 2 KTSs I don't know what those are But we'll find out later uh, Indicated airspeed is 89 kilos Heading 80 degrees Altitude 5,500 5, feet AMSL Okay Let's get into it buddy I ain't flying level yet. There we go. What does that mean? She read my mind. Maintain that attitude. Put that on my shirt. Brittany, put that on my shirt. Maintain that attitude. Put that on the shirt. Maintain that attitude. 
I gotta get it stable. Maintaining is a month. Place the upper line on the horizon. Maintaining, I just so scared to go down like that. It's a little windy out here, something. Thank you. I'm trying, but baby, it's hard on this thing. She act like I'm flying like a like that on purpose. I know I need to be flying smoother, but I'm doing the best I can do. Shoot. They gonna give me a B. Okay, I ain't bring it down. I know what I gotta work on though. I gotta work on that, holding that altitude, maintaining that attitude. <laughs> I love that, maintain that attitude. Man, I'm about to go and draw a beautiful plane after I get out this live stream. Gonna draw me a plane and put maintain that attitude, and I'm gonna put it on a t-shirt, and you better not steal my idea, cause I know I can see who watching. I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> okay, so let me start at the top. I need to start paying attention to detail if I'm gonna fly. So I'm flying in the Textron Aviation Cessna 152. And I am flying from Sedona, Arizona to Sedona, Arizona. And my flight conditions look cloudy. So today I'm gonna to learn about turn attitude, 20 degrees. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. This meter right here, 20 degrees. So eat, okay, yeah. Oh, she explained that. Side slip, ball center. Okay, okay, okay. To turn, ladies and gentlemen, it might be my last slide too. I might just crash up. To turn, you will have to move the yoke in the direction you want to go and maintain the side slip ball center with a small rudder correction. Okay, so I need to maintain this side slip ball center with a small rudder correction. That correction means without all the jerkiness. I figured that out there for already. Yeah, I'm over here and it says in the 152 bit, bro. Anyway, uh. <laughs> like like for for climb or descent an attitude or position of the horizon on the windshield will help you maintain the desired performances you can confirm the bank angle with the with the notches at the top of the attitude indicator each notch represents 10 degrees and so the attitude indicator is going to okay maybe we should put the attitude indicator on the show yeah that's going to be right there and each not is 30 degrees and i've already learned i should not make a habit of turning beyond 30 degrees because i'll probably bring this motherfucker down but anyway bank angle side slip ball bank angle side slip ball bank angle side slip ball let's get into the lesson turn attitude should be 20 degrees you need to turn that attitude around 20 degrees before you come talking to me let's get into this flight Regular turns are below 30 degrees of bank. See, I told you, I'll be listening. As I'm flying this Cessna 152, Captain King Marino taking off. Horizon position relative to the aircraft or attitude. Okay, 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 okay. Sedona, Arizona, 442, 221.342 KTSs. Wind speed. <laughs> it's a lovely day to fly out, people. Don't trust me on no turn. Woo shit. That is a motherfucker. That's hard to kind of do. I know.
No, don't do that. Okay, I'm turning. What am I doing? 20 degrees to the right. Oh, she said that line was active. I was about to say, that line is backwards. Baby, you is retarded. She got me flying in in circles. I know. Where's my altitude? Thank you. What does that, I mean, I know what that means, but like, what corrective action do I need to take? I ain't bring it down. I ain't, I ain't crash out, so another another day I ain't crash out, you feel me? Here's it not crashing out. Yeah, one time for me, man. I got that B. That's two Bs. I start out with A's. I need to get. The, I need to get this. I need to. I need to practice, but I feel more. I feel more. You know what I'm saying? Relaxed behind the wheel for sure. Fifty-four percent master. Fifty-four percent master. Maintain that attitude, baby. Maintain that attitude. So I learned how to pitch and roll. How many lessons is it? I just gotta keep pressing on so I can get through the basic handling. This is just basic stuff that I'm doing. I'm over here cracking you know? The throttle is the command to adjust the aircraft power set and display on the RPM tachometer. I gotta look over there for the tachometer or do I got my own? Anyway, in this exercise, you will maintain the same cruise attitude and reduce, increase the RPM to see the effect of powers change on the airspeed and altitude. That's the tachometer. It measures in hundreds. 20 equals 200 RPMs. That's the throttle. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to be flying fast. That thing said I gotta pull the carburetor. Sound like I'm back in the Chevy. Where's it at? Uh, uh, set the eighteen, set it to eighteen hundred. I got to locate the dang on dang on meter first. Where is the RPM? Where's it at? I don't know where it's at. Where is the RPM?
Where is it? I'm gonna crash if y'all don't tell me where it's at. Where is the RPM? I don't know. I don't know where it's at. That's probably why I can't I can't complete the mission because I'm feeling my goddamn gonna play about to fall out the sky. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a rocket ride, cause I don't got, I don't got frustrated up here in this air, cause I can't find my day going RPM meter or tachometer. Where is it at, man? I know I don't slow. By the time I start pushing it back in, I figure out where it's at. How about that? Let me speed this. Let me just, let's push it in then. Now, where is it at? I don't know what my speed is. Where is the RPM? I think I found it. There we go. Thank you. You ain't got to talk about me like that. You saw how she tried to call me stupid. Don't give me that seat. Uh, people, every actor, maybe. All she had to do is show me where the dang old meter was at. You know, it's Kim Reno here taking a flight. All she had to do is show me where where the meter was at. I feel like they should have highlighted where that meter was at. And they, and they did before the flight, but when I was flying, it just started coming apart in my brain. I was just like, oh man, I want to I take it down. So I couldn't, I was, even though it's the same, let me see how I feel about this time. We're gonna do it again. See if I can get a higher grade, cause that was a frustrating flight. They, see, I see the meter right there, but something about my brain when she says 1800, I didn't see the 18 and I wasn't registering that. Just take it to like right under the 20. Even though it says right there the 2000 RPM, all of that didn't register in the flight. But I guarantee you I'm gonna do it faster this time. I'm already ready. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. There we go. And I tell you, it was gonna be better. One. Right now, I'm putting back on that throttle so to reduce the speed. They bring it down to 1800. Yeah, I told you. Then I tell you, I called it then. Yeah. Then she gonna tell me to bring it back up in speed. And I'm about to push it in too, baby. I'm about to push it in too, baby. Put that on the shirt too. Thank you. I ain't do good in these, baby. Hey, what you gonna give me a C again? What the? F How you get an A? Man, now I got. I ain't gonna. I ain't. I ain't C's. I ain't getting no degrees in this flight school, man. I don't trust nobody that got a C. I don't trust no. If you got a C in flight school, I don't trust you.
they probably be like, yeah, I bet you think that. Anyway, here we go. Back into my sister, Cessna 152. I'm going to get, let me see what I didn't do good. Okay, they said that I did not, they saying that I did not set the 1800 RPM accurately while maintaining the cruise attitude line on the horizon. And I did, I was able to climb back up in RPMs accurately while maintaining the cruise. I got to work on my, my maintaining the cruise on the horizon. Yeah, let's, let's do it again. Give me another girl. Come on, man. Give me, give me something else. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it before she said. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that looks like excellence. That looks like, ooh, that's why you must keep going, young man. That's why you must keep going, young man. I was over here looking like I don't even know. I didn't even know what a good flight looked like and I came back and got an A. That man got That's why you gotta keep going. Keep flying. Gotta keep flying. Look, I told y'all. I ain't got sure y'all, but do I get an A plus? But A good enough. Sixty-six <clears> percent. <throat> I'm almost ready to take off. I'm almost ready to take off. Familiarize yourself with the attitude, pitch, and the power relationship. Change in one or both will result in a decrease in speed, altitude, or heading. Attitude plus power equals performance. You will also discover the trim wheel to help you maintain a desired attitude. Accelerate, decelerate at a level, altitude, refine aircraft, handling skills. Okay, let's get into these meters, man, because I'll be, be losing it in the flight. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I be losing in the flight. So heading indicator measures in tens. Three equals thirty. So that should be thirty degrees, I guess. So I'm on a, where is it? Uh, to come in, yeah, that's the guy. That's the RPM. Okay, okay. Vertical speed indicator measures in five or five hundred feet per minute. Control instruments, performance instrument. Okay, so so the the attitude indicator. And the tachometer are control instruments. And the airspeed indicator, which is right there. Sorry, right there. And uh, the heading indicator, which is uh, right there. And the uh, altimeter, which is uh, right there. And then the vertical speed indicator, which measures in 5 equals 500 feet per minute, is uh, right there. So, uh, <laughs> how is this funny? Um, we're in Sedona again. We're in Sedona again. Yeah. 446. 446. Ooh, a lovely lady fly. It's a lovely lady fly.
I'll get to 5,500 feet. I think I got it. I got to go down deeper. I got to get in there. I'm, I'd be scared to go down. But I got to get in there. I know this is a rocky flight, but I got to get in there. In that, in that range. Thank you. Right. Where the heck is my trim well? Add trim to stop pulling. Okay, so I need to hit RB and down. Sorry. We're going, ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. She is talking to me real rude. How? What am I doing? You put your plane in a dangerous position. Where is, okay. What do I need to do to get high enough? What do I need to do to get high enough? I'm trying to get high. You all don't want me pulling on the yoke. And you tell me I ain't high enough. Then what do you suggest I do? I'm going. Give me some time. Let me put some speed on here to get let you see how far in my grasp is. I'm gonna put some speed on here. That'll get me how I want it. On that, get me high. Yeah, that car hit on the speed. It's coming. Oh shit. 
Stay out of my head. <laughs> what about my life? <laughs> you don't care about that, do you? You put your plane. Man. Okay, I think I understand what I gotta do. At least I made it through. Woo, that, I might need to do that one again. I don't know what y'all think. Y'all let me know y'all think I should have did that one again. I felt like that was a rocky flight. But that was a rocky flight. That was a real rocky flight right there. I really don't even see how I got past it. That one was a little tough. So what I was supposed to I set it at the 200. I, I'm good with that. I'm not good at keeping it there. Um, trim the aircraft. Trim and achieve a constant altitude. With no input on your, I maintain the position. Increase the power, and maintain. Okay, okay. I said, okay, okay. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't even know. You know, I don't think I did that good on that one right there. I don't think I did that good on that one right there. I got something to work on in flight. I don't think I did that good. I'll be out there mad at the world. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. In this test, we will review the attitudes by combining a climb and a turn. We will then review the power setting and the straight and level flight by reducing the power while maintaining the heading and altitude. What am I looking at? Sedona, Arizona. I don't see why we're at 6,000 feet. Okay. Gotta get this motherfucker north. Bitch, give me time. It's a lot going on. You talking about go north? I am not going north. I am going east. 
Let me get to the north first. Let me go to the north side. Let me go down. I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Where am I at? Slow descent. Bring that thought along down a little bit more. My problem is I be in so frantic mode, like I'm, I'm making real jerky ass because I'm used to thinking about how cars operate. So I was driving too jerky. Now I need to start evening it out because I'm almost at my target of 5,500. Now I need to bring it back up. I thought I would climb it. Now I think I'm 6,000 feet and I think I'm heading north. I mean south. So I got my speed steady and I'm heading south slowly. It ain't that jerk ever flying in. Bring it back down a little bit. Bring it back down. Bring it back down. And then I can start getting ready to straighten it on up because I see I'm coming up on south. So say it. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. I'm about to be coming up on south. I'm going too high though, I'm too high, I gotta bring it back down. I gotta bring it back down. Come on down a little bit more. I'm gonna bring my speed down a little bit. Oh, no, 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 we're going too high, yeah, let's. See, that's the part right there that's difficult. Like, in a car, I feel like everything is more like happening right now, but in this plane right now, I feel like it's like time something start going a little bit opposite of how you want it to go, you be ready to freak out. But that's not the thing to do when you're flying. So I should be at my proper height. I thought I was at my proper height. Now I ain't going south no more. So it's now it's like, you can't do this in real life because if you're in a plane, you run out of gas, so you gotta know how to maneuver. Like, I am not nowhere close to south, and I'm supposed to be going south. Man, let me, goddamn, let me turn the dial a little bit. I'm, hold on, I got a soul plane in, hold on. I got a soul plane, hold on. I know y'all think I'm going into the mountain, but I ain't going into the mountain. I'm getting back south. God dang it. She probably gonna make me practice this again and I think that I should. But not really, it's just a flight. Now I'm just wasting gas. I'm 
just wasting gas. I know about them degrees. I met I met the right um feet. I just not going in the right direction. So that's what I need to do first. Right direction, I got to bring it down. I'm trying to get it like I'm drifting. If you have flu, you know what I'm doing right now. Get ready to hold it right there. Oh no! Get out of the screen. I know. I know. Man. What I need is my turn meter. Almost there.
Oh, oh we going down. <laughs> I know. Trying not to. Full power it is then. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the simulator is actually better to learn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like everything moving fast and slow. Like when the meters start going down, you want to freak out. Maybe I need to go. Maybe I should just climb on up past 6,000 feet and then come back down. going down <laughs> man I need to know that mean I gotta hit the throttle the dollars being hit right now I should just go up and make the turn. I made the turn and go up and then go down. That's what I do. Where's that one that say how far you should turn? 10 degrees, 20 degrees. They say you shouldn't go past 30 degrees in a turn. So I'm going to turn this plane at 30 to, by 20 to 30 degrees. I know I'm going up, so once I get to the, to the south, all I got to do is go down. That's what I do. That's my plan for flying right now. I'm at about 9,000 feet, I think. And I got it at max speed. Now I'm headed east. I need to be headed south to complete the mission without putting my plane in a dangerous position. I'm going to hold it right there. That's what we're going to do. And I should be able to adjust something to make the plane where it's drifting down instead of up. All right, so we're going down. I'm at 8,000 feet and I'm turning it like 10 degrees trying to get south and then I got to bring it down to 6,000 feet. So I'm going to work on bringing it down now that I'm headed in the right direction. But I know I can't bring it down too much because then they're going to make it lose its balance. 8, I just need to get south first and then I can work on reducing the speed. All right, so we almost headed south. Now I'm gonna work on bringing the speed down a little bit. And 
And then we're going to hear the motor start to change too. Like now it's starting to sound like a lawnmower. And I'm still almost out. Now I'm just a little too high. But not a lot too high. All right, so now I'm going south, and I'm at uh, 6,000 feet, so I should be good if I just keep going a little bit more south. It's crazy because you got to think about turning south instead of north, instead of going straight. Instead of just, yeah, ahead and back. I, I did better this time. I ain't, I ain't put the plane. I ain't put the plane down yet. get my little speed back up and I'm gonna slowly come up on that six right there. I wonder how I feel to fly a faster plane. This plane feel kind of weak now that I'm flying it like I got some sense. You got a meter over there that I can't even go all the way in. All right, that should be me hitting my goal at 6,000 feet right here. What they saying? What they saying? Well, why ain't my... Okay, there go one. I'm at 6,000 feet. And I'm going south. Why ain't get my goal? They gonna make me start this whole flight over? No. I'm going south, and I'm at 6,000 feet. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I need to adjust that little bad piece that you're talking about that make you go up and down. Nah, that's down, definitely. She's going to hit me with that little warning if I keep on flying like this, and I'm going to have to start all the way over. I left the train in airspace. Where is it? out it's making me upset hold on hold on hold on hold on did I make it no I didn't make it <laughs> man come on man this is the last lesson this is the last one before they let me fly to worry about myself <laughs> I got to make this Ready, fly. Let's do it. Okay, what did I do? Bring a plane through the air. It doesn't distract you anymore. Now it's time to test the skills you learned. As you can see, we're cruising at 6,000 feet on a north heading of 360 degrees. I don't see why she's saying. I did, or maybe that's why I couldn't get it right the other time. Over speed. I was going too fast. That's like turning the engine off. I see it's falling fast, and I got to get ready to bring it back up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold right there, hold right there. Hold what you got. That's okay. okay.
full power then. This vertical speed meter is the one that's messing me up. I don't know how, that's the one that I got to balance right there. Every time that thing starts going crazy, she starts telling me I'm about to put my plane in a dangerous position. Maybe I need to hit my spot and then come out the control. I finna get this damn goal completed. Okay. I get to 6,000 feet and I got to slow this thing down. Yeah, we did. I know. I know this. I know this.
Gotta let this thing dive. Still diving. Still diving. We still diving. Still diving. Now we gotta bring it back up. Okay, girl, I'm trying to get out. To I understand that, but you need to give me my credit for managing this one. It'll help you too. <laughs> gotta see. Gotta see. What did I not do good in? Getting the speed down while maintaining the constant heading and altitude. Yeah, so I'm bad, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to goddamn finish, you know what I'm saying, celebrate my, my flight academy. And I was really interrupted. But anyway, yeah. So I went through all the basic handlings. I still got to go back and practice because I can't be out here taking no 
taking down no planes because I, I don't understand the meters. And I can kind of see what's going on. It's like a balancing effect. Flight Simulator, Kim Marino taking off to fly episode one. We out. Y'all check it out.